What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a super exciting video. I have some amazing news to share with you guys that I'm officially a BQ athlete, so Vanquish Fitness. They are a brand based out of the UK and I am officially one of their North American athletes. I am Canadian as you guys know, so if you guys wanna check it out, I'll make sure to link everything below as well as the website. The reason why I'm so excited to be representing this brand and getting to work with this brand is because I've tried their stuff. I love the way it feels. If you guys watch my Instagram videos, I'm sure you can tell that I've been just wearing their stuff all the time. I can wear it when I'm doing Pilates, when I'm doing my strength workouts, my calisthenics, as well as just everyday comfy wear. So we're gonna go through a bunch of their newer launches today, just going through some of my favorites, as well as just kind of highlighting how they look and feel on me as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video, and if you do, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Starting off the try-on haul, we're gonna go through the Evolve collection, which is one of my favorites. I've been wearing it all the time. If you guys wanna compare it to something, it's just very smooth and buttery. So their first one that I do like wearing all the time is like an everyday sports bra, is just their Y-back sports bra. So as you can tell, it has the minimal branding because it's just on the back, it just says Vanquish. And then from the front, it's just nice and plain and there's a little bit of stitching on the sides, but very, again, just like very neutral. It goes underneath clothing very well. And the colorways for this collection is going to be this almost like mauve light purple. Then we have a slightly darker purple slash like more of a rich color. And then we have a nice light baby blue. And then of course a plain black. So all of these colors come in every single piece that I'm gonna show. So this was the just minimal type Y sports bra. And then we also have a longer line sports bra, which is the one that I also like wearing. Here it is right here. So it's a high neck. And as you guys know, I do like wearing a high neck just cause it shows off my shoulders a little bit more. And then you also have the back with a cute cutout. So on back days, stuff like that, I do like to wear this top. And again, there's a little bit of stitching and that minimal branding. So the entire Evolve line is gonna have that minimal branding. It's not gonna be too much in your face, just a little bit of the wording on the back. In terms of sizing, I am a size small in all the tops, as well as an extra small in the bottoms. So for this kind of sports bra, I wouldn't wear this one as much as an everyday, just cause it has that higher neckline. So it kind of pokes out through other sweaters or t-shirts or anything like this. But definitely for training, for calisthenics, because it has a little bit more coverage, I can definitely do more of my backflips in it, as well as my strength training as well. So those are the two different tops from Evolve. And then going into the bottoms, we're gonna be going through their shorts, which I really, really like, as well as their pants. So first off, we have the pants. Again, coming in all the colors. This one has just the very simple front. It has the no seam in the crotch, as well as in here in the back, it has that little butt highlight. So it goes like in a little heart shape. So it does make your glutes very nice. And then in terms of fit and feel, again, it's very buttery and smooth. And I'm a shorter person. So in terms of the length of the pants, I don't have to bunch them up too much. There is a little bit of extra fabric, but it's not like consuming where it's just like a big bunch of fabric at the bottom of my leg. And then overall in terms of fit, again, a size extra small in my bottoms. So this one is the darker purple. And then we have these shorts. I'm gonna show them in a lighter color just cause that way you can see the details a little bit better. But here are the shorts, again, a little bit more of that butt contour and the front has that nice little like wave in the front. So I personally like this one when I first saw it, I was like, is that gonna highlight that like awkward area that a lot of us do have, especially when you're bloating or on your period or anything like that. But this one actually hides it very well and is very complimentary to your body. In terms of the length of the shorts, I like my shorts a little bit shorter. So this is actually a great length for me. They're not close to a biker short at all. They're probably just like mid thigh, mid to upper thigh. So for anyone who's wanting a biker short, these ones are more of a shorter short. And then in terms of use and wear of these ones, again, I can wear these ones for cardio. Both of the waistbands for the leggings as well as the shorts, they don't slip at all. They stay exactly where they're supposed to be, which is super nice. And then in terms of overall like elasticity as well as tightness, I will say putting on the black black shorts, there was no like crackling of like threads or anything like that, but the lighter colors, you will hear just a slight like stretch of the fabric, but like don't be alarmed because it just, it doesn't mean they're ripping or anything like that. It just means that they're just becoming more fitted to you. So that did happen with this lighter color for me as well as the light blue, but the darker colors for whatever reason, the threading just like didn't make that noise. 
So those are the ones here. I will say the lighter colors, I have done leg days in them. They are squat proof. That being said, I would definitely wear a neutral colored underwear. So nothing like polka dotted, striped, or anything bright like that. Definitely more neutral just to be on the safe side, but they are squat proof, both the light purple as well as the light blue. And that is it for the Evolve collection. Again, we have a long line sports bra as well as the Y and the shorts and the leggings. Moving on to the unreleased collection. This is gonna be the newest one that's gonna launch is going to be the ribbed collection. So this one is super fun because it's again, that stretchy material, but has a little bit more design to it. And again, a little bit more of that minimal branding. So here we have the minimal type sports bra that's just very strappy. So this one is quite tiny. Now in terms of where I wear this one, again, it's a little bit more of an everyday sports bra or if I'm just working strength workouts, but I wouldn't wear this for cardio or for any of my flips just because it is a little bit of a lower cut. Now, for those of us who are smaller chested, this one is very complimentary. It makes us look a little bit more booby than we normally would in other sports bras, which is kind of nice. And I also like the comfort of the straps. Even though they are relatively thin, they don't dig into you at all, which is really nice. And of course, they are adjustable. Now, the backing of them, it is a crisscross back. You can't change it, but that's fine because for me personally, I do prefer a crisscross back, especially when working back days. It just looks really nice in videos and stuff like that. The ribbing here, there is that Vanquish logo in the front, but it's pretty tiny, so I would still consider this pretty minimal. In general, for this collection, everything that I show will be in all of the following colors. So it'll be in this black, a nice light cream color, as well as a tealy type green, and then almost like, again, that mauve light purple. And this one actually goes really well with the Evolve mauve color, I'll show you. So if I were to match like any of the sports bras or any of the shorts, you could always mismatch the colors because I wore these two together the other day and it actually looked really good. So I do like how you can mix match the collections with the different colorways to kind of match each other in their own little way. So starting off with this one, we did the sports bra, we'll do the longer line sports bra. So this again is another high neck sports bra, which again, I like. It is a simple racer back. And for all the sports bras, you can do the inserts. You can take them out or keep them in, whatever your preference is. And this one is ribbed and then it has a slightly different ribbing pattern at the bottom. So it does have a little more texture to it. And then again, the sports bras for me are size extra small. And then moving on to, we'll do pants next. We have the ribbed pants. Now I did have another similar pair of ribbed pants from Vanquish before. And so I guess this is their more like 2.0 version, I would assume. Although the waistband looks incredibly tiny, there is a ton of stretch to the fabric. I remember when I took them out, especially when you look at the shorts, they look itty, itty bitty. They're so tiny, but they do stretch quite a bit and they're not tight at all. Like it's not like they start out really small and then feel compressive. They're super stretchy, very breathable and really good for just any type of training or again, every single day. So the pants, just to go over them, they do have a slight butt contour. In the black, it's a little bit harder to tell, but there is a contour right underneath, as well as a slight one right where the bum would be. So again, really highlights your glutes, especially on a leg day. And then again, the length of these ones are just, just slightly long, but again, for someone who's short, it's not like it's bunched up fabric. And for me personally, when I wear them, I do like to hike them up a little bit more, just so again, that contour line lines up with my body just a little bit better. With these shorts, the lighter white color, I actually haven't worn myself. I'm going to assume they would not be squat proof only because white just across the board is a very hard color to make squat proof. If you were wanting to wear this one, I definitely would say neutral underwear if you want to, um, or just wear it on a day where you're not doing a lot of like squatting or hinging movements where that fabric will be challenged and stretched. So that anything upper body, anything even flipping I would wear this for, I just wouldn't do potentially like a, like a heavy squat day in them. So these ones are the same as the pants, that same contour in the back. You might be able to see it a little bit better on the white, but again, just below the bum and then just above for that contour and they're all high-waisted. And then lastly for this one, we have the romper. So the romper, I was super nervous because technically for rompers, they're either like a great on me or they're a hit and miss, like completely miss. But these ones are actually really, really nice. I do like how it has the zipper in the front. So if you wanna make it a little bit lower, you definitely can and you can pair it with any of the sports bras. Because it is a high neck, you could have that high neck sports bra underneath and have it poke out as a racer back from the back or even that crisscross minimal sports bra would work as well. And then we have the shorts. The shorts are probably equal or slightly longer to the length of the actual shorts from the collection. So again, not super long, more that mid thigh. And then we have a little bit of design on the back and that contour. So from the back, as you can see, there's the bum contour, the cutout in the back, 
and then from the front, there's that side contour. So if you're wearing the lighter colors, you can definitely see it just hugs your body a little bit better, giving you a little bit more shape. In the darker colors, I when I showed it in the black, you couldn't tell as much just because it's a solid color, but definitely in the lighter ones, you can see the contour a lot more. And this one, I don't know if I would wear this one to the gym because I'm not a romper type girl to the gym, but I wear this one probably for morning cardio as well as just like running errands really quick, putting on like a white sweater to pair with it and that way I can just like go about my day. So that is the two collections with all their different colors as well as the sizing for myself. So again, extra small for the top, small for the bottoms. And in terms of fit and feel, everything is very comfortable, nothing too compressive, nothing too tight. So if you're someone like me where I like training and just feeling everything just like sitting on my skin and just like a slight bit of compression, then all of these will work. I personally don't like the super like sport, really compressive stuff. I just find it a little bit too compressive for everything that I do. I like to have free moving range of motion, especially when I'm flipping around, as well as just if I'm wearing it for comfort. So that is it for today's video. That is the walkthrough of the two most recent collections from the woman's side. I will say if you look on the website, there is a little bit less of the woman's side, but that's because Vanquish is building out their woman's side a lot bigger. So I'm super excited because I get to be a part of the beginning of the woman's side really being built out and creating some really fun stuff. So if you guys have any questions about pieces on there that I haven't shown in this video, make sure to comment below. I can definitely answer it because I do have those ones as well. I just wanted to showcase the ones that I've been wearing the most because of the ones that are releasing soon, as well as just overall my favorite. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and have a great, amazing day. Like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time.